Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do RSS feeds, which is a way that you can get content that is keyword generated from Google automatically on your blog without you having to do anything except for the simple steps now. Okay, go on to google.com and sign into your account. I'm already signed in. So once you sign in and put in your password, should be here. Click my account. And I already have mine here, but you're actually going to want to scroll down. And usually there's a, a spot that says more. You click on it and it'll open up more options. I have all the stuff for, for Google already up here. So once you click more, it's a little tab at the bottom that you have to actually scroll down to see it. It's usually over here. Um, you want to look for this little bell that says alerts and click on it. Okay. So now that you're here, you're going to want to enter a keyword that is, again, relevant to the content on your blog. Um, if you're going to be doing the Forex like I was talking about earlier in the past videos, we would put something like Forex trading. Okay. After you type in your keyword there that you want the articles and uh, content submitted into your blog about, go down. Uh, one thing that's important, when you put in a search term, make sure that it's somewhat specific because you do not want a keyword that is going to bring in something that's going to be opposite or far from what you're actually trying to reach. If you're doing a niche that's, uh, say, Dachshund training clicker methods or poodle I don't know, spiked collar or something like that, and you typed in dog, you're going to get a lot of different breeds, all types of food, all types of trainings, all types of, I mean, everything you can think about dogs, anything about dogs. You, may, you know, so you need to make sure that you're specific on the keyword that you're putting in. Okay. Again, keywords for people that aren't really up to speed with keywords. Uh, the keyword is the term used to search for the, the category or topic that you would like. Okay, so after you put in Forex trading or whatever you're entering in the search terms, click here where it says comprehensive on the drop down, this little arrow, click it. Okay, so leave it at comprehensive. Go down here where it says once a day. Click on the arrow and click it as, as it happens and click create alert okay so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because uh, actually I'll, I'll just show you basically I set one up a little while ago uh, I tested it to make sure that this is how it's going to work and it is so the bottom one here is what you should be looking at where it says email, comprehensive, your keyword, as it happens, edit. That's what you should see. All right. What I want you to do is go over to edit on yours and click it. Slide over to where it says email right here in the middle. Click the arrow and drop down to feed and then go back over and click save. All right. So now you see that everything here that I have, yours will only have one line, but mine, I have two of the same. Okay, I would like you to take your cursor, take the arrow, and go up to where it says feed on, on yours, and click it. Make sure it's all the way on feed. Now click, because feed and view, is they're, they're separate links. Okay, make sure it's on feed. So you should see this. Now, when you see this blue link right down here, you're going to have maybe a little bit different because of the search term that you're using. It's a different keyword. I want you to go past this thing that says tag Google, all this stuff, this kind of gobbledygook right here, and go down where it's got the first HTTP that's below that in blue. 
go to the very end of it and don't, don't get the, the quotes. I don't want the quotes, just the end of the number. Click the left button and hold it down and drag it all the way over to the very end of the H, but do not get the quotes. Like, oops, I missed it. I have to do it again. Okay, so make sure you get all of it except the quotes. And then right click it, click copy. You have to make sure that your cursor is on the blue before you click the right. Okay, so it's up here, click copy. Because if you don't, if you have your cursor off the blue, look what happens when you click on the right. Same thing, but you may copy other stuff on the page. I would recommend, I don't actually know if it would copy anything else. It should still copy the blue, but just, you know, to be safe, then sorry. I don't want you copying a bunch of stuff in your page that you don't want. So, take that, because you already copied it, and click the back button, this green button up here on top. And I want you to exit out of this. Keep going back, back, back. Okay, now that you're back here, you to go down to Blogger. Click on it. You, you shouldn't have to do what I just did. I did that because I hid mine earlier. Okay, so here's the Forex trading software. Um, go ahead and click on Edit Posts. And this is the one on top that has the picture of the goat that I did. And then right below it is the text that I wrote in there, which would be the content of whatever you would like. Okay. So you want to make sure that you do it on the text below the picture. If you want to keep the picture or the video up on top, make sure that you do it to the one below. All right. Click Edit. Go up to Layout. Scroll down a little bit. Right here, Google Alerts. Edit it. And we're gonna go ahead and click on change feed URL. Yours may not have this. I was messing around with it earlier. If I'm gonna cancel it just in case, I'll tell you how to do it. When you edit it, you should see right here just uh, URL. It should be one line for you. And if it says that, <clears throat> if it has just the URL line right there, I want you to put your, as if it looked like that, put your cursor on there, click it with your left, click with your right. just like this. That's what you should be seeing. And then go down after you click on your right button and click paste. So now that you have that, click continue. And that is all you need to do. So click save. And that's it. You will have content coming into your page when uh, Google finds it relative to the keyword you asked it to. Um, again, I recommend, I told you quite a few times now, but I'm making sure that you remember, right here is the HTML code with that link that I put in there because I want you to have opt-in at the very top right of your page. Click it, grab it, pull it up, drop it, it's right there on top, okay? That's important, you need to have that up on the top right for when we get the autoresponder going. Uh, we'll come back here and we'll drop down the uh, name and email spot so you can get opt-ins and get a list going because if you're going to build a business you need to have a list and that's number one importance i mean everything else could be you know um, kind of pushed to the side but building a list is very 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 important i i kicked myself in the butt for all the years i've been on the internet i should have had a monster list by now i had i went through a trial and error um, nobody really taught me until just recently how to do a lot of the um, corrections on the things that I was doing in the past that was wrong, but I, all the knowledge that I've got, it's, it's quite a bit, and uh, I'd like to be able to share with people at least so they don't have to go through the learning curve that I did working on the computer for literally 10 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week, and doing this for years on end. So. It's, it's better to find out the mistakes from someone else and basically jump past that point of the learning curve because it sucks. And uh, this is a better way to do it. Yeah, so click save before you exit out. And uh, that's it for that, for the uh, RSS feed. And we will come back a little bit later and we'll do 
Um, well, after we set up an autoresponder, we'll bring the code from it and place it into your blog so you can actually start building a list. All right, thank you.